reducing costly overheads whilst increasing investigative efficiency. Isn't that the conundrum for financial crime compliance? Let's discuss a little bit about why entity resolution can help. Entity resolution resolves disparate data points presenting you with a single subject for your risk investigations. It does this by resolving data from internal and external and third-party presented information. Now this is really important across all domains in financial crime. From an AML perspective, you get to follow that money, dig deeper, truly understand customer, account and transactional behaviour. Now this can happen when a single subject is presented multiple times into your system and resolved into one, or when that subject is presented and connected into a complex network, potentially an organised crime group. From a name scanning and a KYC know your customer perspective, this is about not missing risk. When aggregated and disparate information is happening across the system, which together in a resolved manner presents risk, you need to see that. All of this should be presented to you in graphical and network form in your systems, whereby you can understand by looking at this graph or network the potential risk associated to these connections. This too should be presented in a side-by-side -side view. You need to understand the why. Why subjects have been linked together for information like name and address matching. Also importantly, you need to do things like ad hoc risk assessment. Outside of the scope of your AML, KYC and name screening investigations, you want to access your subjects and understand their connections and their behaviours. If all of this is important to you, increasing investigative efficiency while it's reducing operational costs, reach out to discuss more about entity resolution. We've got conversations, collateral, demonstrations and more.